fellow citizens, thank you again for watching this video. Today I want to take a few minutes to provide some additional updates from the community on what has taken place this past week, but particularly on what to expect in the near future as we begin the transition. A lot of attention has been paid this past week to the reopening of our business establishments. Borough staff participated in a call this past week hosted by the Downtown State College Improvement District with food and beverage establishment owners and managers <clears throat> to go through the state's guidance on the green phase. Now, we will continue to ensure that establishments are able to operate safely as we begin the new normal. I personally wrote uh, an op-ed which will appear in, uh, in the Center Daily Times and, local, and other local media as follows. Now that Center County is moving into the green phase of our reopening process, I write to thank the citizens of State College and the Center Region for their outstanding behavior during the pandemic. The overwhelming majority of you have put the health and safety of yourselves and your families first. As a result, our medical professionals and our hospital have been able to handle the crisis without being overwhelmed. This has helped our region to escape, so far, <clears throat> the worst impact of COVID-19. Although tragically, we have lost some members of our community. Their loved ones and friends suffer the same sorrow as those who have died in the hardest hit cities. And I offer them my sincere sympathy for their loss. Now I would like to ask you to serve our town in another way. Our small business community also performed admirably in following the governor's orders at great cost. And now that we are in the green phase of our reopening, many of our small businesses have reopened or will. If you can, please go out in a careful and safe manner and patronize local businesses. They will be open under strict and costly requirements from the state and it is in their interest to comply. And I am confident that they will. Sanitary and safety requirements are rigorous. If you see conditions in a business that you feel are unsafe, please alert the borough's ordinance enforcement office and our enforcement officers will follow up. A thriving small business community is a critical ingredient for a healthy and happy town and region. Our diverse and bustling downtown is a draw for locals and visitors alike. Of course, you must make the decision to shop depending on your own circumstances and based on your own good judgment. The elderly and those with underlying health conditions should be especially careful. Takeout, delivery, and curbside service will still be options. Wearing masks is imperative, as is social distancing. The virus is still very dangerous and will be with us for a long time. The green phase is not a return to the old normal. It is not an all clear, I want to emphasize that. We are still a long way from that. But as we adjust to the new normal, whatever that will be, we will want our friends in the business community to be with us along the way. To help our businesses through this transition, the Borough of State College and the Redevelopment Authority launched a business needs survey last week to explore what opportunities exist to help local businesses recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. We still need responses from business owners and managers and are extending the deadline a week to Sunday, June 7th. You can access the survey at www.statecollegepa.com dot us backslash business needs survey. Please email engage at statecollegepa.us if you would like a printed copy of the survey to complete. I also want to remind you again of the Data for Action project. This project is designed to better inform local leaders and decision makers about the impacts of this pandemic on Center County residents. Don't let your voice be left out. The anonymous 20-question survey takes only 10 minutes to complete. Online at dataforaction.psu.edu or by phone, 
753-4799. Please take the survey by June 12th. Now I want to address, another, the, once again, the issue of masks. When is it appropriate to wear a mask? There seems to be always some confusion about this. First of all, I want to emphasize that whenever you're shopping in, in, in any open business, inside particularly, you must wear a mask. That's all businesses. However, when you are outside, you do not have to wear a mask. It certainly may be prudent at times to wear a mask outside if you're in a, in, in a, in a group, for example, uh, but uh, it's not required. When you visit your health care provider, you must be wearing a mask. So if you go to Mount Nittany Health uh, Center or Geisinger or, um, <coughs> or Penn State Medicine, <coughs> you must wear a mask and you will be checked before you're allowed to enter the buildings for your temperature and you must have a mask at that time. You should always wear a mask on public transportation. Uh, those are really the basics. So uh, it, it's not complicated. Wear a mask when in doubt, I would say, is the, probably the best advice. Um, <clears throat> once again, to, to report uh, any, uh, any problems uh, with, uh, with enforcement or issues that concern you about uh, behavior regarding to during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, please contact our police via the non-emergency number 814-234-7150. Do not call 911. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please stay safe.